Hello, my name is Jonathan Levin and I'm a trainer and consultant. I have been working with John Bryce and other companies for over 12 years. As a trainer, I design, develop and deliver myriad courses over various subjects, as I will show you soon. As a consultant, I help with the development process, with the design and the implementation of various complicated projects, providing mentoring, providing insight and often helping with the code itself. Some of my clients, as you can see, are Checkpoint, Cisco, Microsoft and SanDisk. And some of my larger scale projects involved, for example, with Microsoft, the Windows error reporting platform. So the next time you send that error report to Microsoft, you can think about me. As well as implementing chipset drivers for SanDisk, as well as providing security training for Cisco, and various other projects for various other customers. Over the years, I've designed and developed many courses, but my main specialties are in the operating systems and networking departments. In operating systems, I focus on PC and mobile platforms, specifically Windows, Linux, and Mac OS X. Windows, involving the Windows desktop platforms such as XP, Vista, and Windows 7, and of course the mobile platform, which is formerly Windows CE, nowadays Windows Mobile. For Linux, this would be Linux on x86, but also on other platforms such as the ARM and PowerPC and Mac OS coming in its desktop version of Mac OS X and mobile Darwin for the iPhone. For all these operating systems I focus on aspects such as development or programming, such as debugging, administration where applicable for the desktop systems and optimization. I organize my courses in what I call tracks. For developers, I have the developer training track, and for system administrators, the sysadmin track. Let's focus on these tracks and I'll explain. For developers, we start with user mode programming. User mode programming as in getting to know the operating system, getting to know the API. If it's Windows, the Win32 and Win64 API. If it's Linux, the POSIX system API and various system calls and such. Then, after the developers are familiar with the APIs and want to go that extra step further, we talk about kernel programming. Kernel programming, getting to know the operating system in kernel, getting to know device drivers, being able to inject code into the kernel for whatever reason, either to implement your own device driver or potentially to improve performance and to debug at a lower level. Then, once people are comfortable with kernel levels, it's time to up the ante and go a little bit further into specialized networking courses. File system development, networking infrastructures, and all that. This is what I call the advanced driver development. From the system administration side, we have the basic introduction to the operating system. Less so on Windows, but definitely on Linux where we talk about the Linux operating system, its Unix flavors, the commands, setting up the system, setting up file systems, and such and such. Then, system administration, using those advanced commands to enable normal maintenance utilities, normal maintenance tasks, such as creating users, defragmenting the disk, um, setting up all sorts of services and servers, and such and such. And finally, performance tuning. Performance tuning and troubleshooting, getting things to work when they really should be working but for some reason are not, getting systems to be optimized, getting that maximum juice out of your hardware. For networking, I take the protocol and implementation perspective and teach an array of courses dealing with most of the common protocols used today. At the core, we have TCPIP network protocols, which are IP and TCP and UDP, as well as emerging protocols such as SCTP. Then, for application protocols, we have the various protocols that make the building blocks of today's internet, DNS, HTTP, FTP, SSL, and more. Finally, there are the domain-specific protocols, which have to do with self-contained environments, such as voice over IP and video and voice over IP, VVoIP, and authentication protocols, cryptographic protocols, and such. I try to make sense of all this protocol jumble by closely following the OSI, or 7-layer model, 
And as you can see, I focus on the protocols in order of appearance and utilization. So, at the physical and data link levels, we talk about the primary protocol today, which is Ethernet, and we talk about other backbone technologies and various low-level technologies such as uh, Sonet, SDH, TDM, and such. At the network level, as mentioned, the core TCPIP protocols, including emerging ones such as IPv6, also advanced topics such as IP routing, quality of service, multicast, and specific routing protocols such as MPLS, multi-protocol label switching. At the application level, we have email-based protocols, that would be POP3, IMAP, SMTP. We have HTTP and HTTPS, which are the primary building blocks of what most people refer to today as the web. And we have file transfer protocols, these could be FTP, SCP, and the likes of which. For other application-specific domains, we have, as I've mentioned, voice over IP. We have AAA, which is authentication, authorization, and accounting. This is where we also discuss many other platforms and protocols such as LDAP, such as Kerberos, such as Active Directory, which is a combination of the two, and all sorts of Unix uh, implementations such as NIS, YP, and such.